Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about lithium batteries. This one is a 100 amp hour lithium battery from Energy with a self-heating function. Now fancy that. Stick with me, it's going to be a hot one. So thanks for coming back. Here we have this Renogy 100 amp hour lithium battery with a self heat function. When I heard that there was a self heat function, I thought, do you know what, that's a really smart idea. Some of you probably don't realize that lithium batteries cannot charge below zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're in the cold and the freezing weather, then this will not charge below that number. It will discharge, it will still work, and it will still work to minus 20 degrees Celsius or even four degrees Fahrenheit. So it will kick out all that power, but you can't charge it up. So a selfie function helps with that problem. So let's see what was in the box. It came from a courier, double cardboard boxed. Uh, it is 11.9 kilograms, it's 26 pounds in weight. And it is not that big. Uh, I'll put the sizes underneath. So on the top, we have a packet of stuff. We have our Renogy stickers from our van windows to tell the world that we use Renogy products. We have an e-warranty card, which you scan that QR code and register your product and your five year warranty. There's a support contact card for various global groups. And there is a miniature manual for the battery. Uh, I probably will be reading the one online because I can't see this without my glasses, but we have one. There is also within this packet a couple of extended bolt screws for the terminals and a on off switch. So the batteries are shipped dormant or inactive I think the term is and you plug this into the upload link Press the button for three seconds and the battery is activated. Other energy products, you put them on charge and suddenly they sense a voltage and they work. You can also use this function to put the battery back into storage. So same thing, plug it in the uplink, press the button and it will go back to sleep. But we will find out later on in the program. So let's just take it out of the box here. Big strong polystyrene on the top there. It's in plastic. Off we go. So it's a black plastic unit, nice function handles on the side here. Two terminals on the top, positive, negative, and your two uplink and downlink connectors here for an RS485 unit. Don't worry about it, it's one of those functions, whatever they are. Plastic sheets, off we go. So light small functional 100 amp hours of energy and you can use all of the energy so just to give you an example i'm going to get my old batteries i've got up from uh, argentina and show you the difference just a cheapy one for 100 amp hours i had a couple of these in the van they didn't last me more than a year to 18 months because i used them very heavily and don't forget 100 amps on agm is only 50 amps in real world or 60 amps maybe if you push it hard um, so these weren't too good yes they're about tenth the price of these only last me about a year twice the weight twice the size uh, and uh, well anyway this is the future so here we have it this lovely black plastic thing so we've got it out of the box first thing you do is check that it's not split or broken in any way the terminal is not fractured because we don't want a broken battery and you'd have to return it. There are some warnings on the front as usual. Uh, read the book, uh, don't set it on fire, wear goggles, don't throw it into rubbish tips, don't set it on fire and a whole load of other information here. All pretty standard stuff really. Uh, on the top is the battery type with some details and specifications for your warranty cards and if you need to change anything so all looking good 
So the self-heat function works very simply. It has to have an external power supply. It doesn't use the power supply of the battery. So if you have a solar connected solar panel or you suddenly hook up into a generator or shore power or you're driving it and your battery to battery charger kicks in, then that power will be used to start the heater. And the heater operates um, between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 5 degrees C and it'll continue until this battery is up to 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit and then it switches off again. And I thought about this saying, OK, so it works on an external power supply, not the battery's own sources. And I think that's quite smart and quite logical when you think about it, because at night there's no sun, so you can't charge the battery anyway. So the solar panels aren't on, so there's no, no energy going in. Um, and so it was just going to consume the energy on doing whatever you need to do. During the day when the sun comes out, powers up, might be cold, but that will then start this up. And once that's warm, then the energy can go into the battery. So like the sister in the range, the other 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, this is good for 4,000 cycles. And what is a cycle? Well, a cycle is when it fully charges and discharges is 100 amps. So for example, if you are hooked up or you're in solar panel or, or you're in solar heaven, then your, your fridge is running and it uses 30 amps a day, for example. So 30 amps a day, today, out, solar panel, comes in, 30 amps in, that's 30 amps. Next day, 60 amps. Third day, 90 amps. Day four, that's 100 amps. So that's discharge and charge 100 amps over four days. So if that was all running, then this would have a hundred cycles per year, which means it would last 40 years. Now, nobody's had a lithium battery for 40 years, and I've heard stories of people telling me lithium batteries have lasted for 17 years. They haven't been on the market for 17 years, they haven't been around for 17 years, not in this state. So anyone that says it will work for 17 years is not telling you the truth. But in theory, this will last 40 years at 30 amps a day. Or if you use it 100 amps a day, it's going to last 12 years, 15 years. So quite a lot of use out of this battery. So although I'm very happy with everything that we've got going on in this battery, one of the issues I've got with this is the Bluetooth. It has to have a plug-in unit. It's the BT-2 unit. I have a hyphen one. I don't think it will work. Whereas the other Renergy batteries particularly the 200 amp hours, have inbuilt Bluetooth. So that's a bit of a downside. So you have to plug something into one of these slots here, not the uplink, and uh, use a Renergy app on your phone or a tablet, or use the Renergy One to see the status of this battery. Hey ho. Some other little facts and figures about this. This can discharge 100 amps in an hour. So if you put something big on it, you can get 100 amps out, no problem. It will charge at 50 amps an hour, maximum charge rate. Although it does tell me in the manual that when you're charging this, it will charge at 20 amps until it gets to 14.4 volts and then it will sit and settle. Right, so let's see what we've got in this battery bank. Okay, it's arrived. 5.88 volts it's reading at the moment. That's inactive, dormant battery. Let's see, we're gonna put it in the link function. This is the up link. So I'm gonna assume that's the up. We have a nice bright blue light on here. So I'm gonna hold that for three seconds. And the light has got even brighter. So let's just see what voltage we've got sitting here now. And it's running at 13.24 volts. So pretty good, eh? Apparently you should ship them and keep them stored at 30 to 40% full. Now I'm gonna hold this off and deactivate it three seconds. So now I've deactivated it, let's just see what we've got. And it's running at just under three volts. So it's now in a dormant mode. Happy days. 
So overall, we've got a battery here that could last a long time, about 4,000 cycles. Uh, it's light, it's easy going, you can put four in parallel, um, and it's brilliant if you are in a country where, or a region where it gets cold at nights or during the day, and you want to keep the battery charged when you're not around. So I think this is a really good deal, and um, I kind of like it. Anyway. I'm Graham, this is Mogul Adventures, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.